Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of As The Crow Flies Hiking. I wanted to do a short video today about um, a rodent bag. And it's actually called a rat sack. I'm not kidding, that's what it's called. Uh, I purchased this on Amazon uh, right before we came to Cumberland Island. This rat sack or cache bag looks like something out of medieval times in that it's like a chain mail type material but it is a very thin mesh with a very small opening and it's made by armoredoutdoorgear.com. Found it on Amazon. Uh, this one ran for about, at the, at the time of this video, ran for about $35, which is a considerable amount uh, less than one of the Ursacs or Ursacs. Um, and so I purchased it because it is specific for rodents. And we, we were on a trip to Cumberland Island, which is uh, known for having raccoons and different types of animals that will get into your food bag. So I have the Hilltop Packs uh, food bag with the flat bottom. And I really love this particular bag. It's a, made out of Dyneema. Uh, but I don't think Dyneema is rat proof or rodent proof. So I think they can still rip into it, um, though it's very water resistant. So. I went ahead and purchased this from armoredoutdoorgear.com and I got the small. And I'm glad I got the small because I saw various different comments about how the large sack was way more than you need for one person. In fact, it was large enough for a group. The small, they have a extra small, a small, a medium, and a large. I got the small and this particular size was perfect. Uh, I got it in, in a rush because I had to get it in before the trip. And this size, this size fits my Hilltop Packs uh, bear bag or food bag perfectly. And I decided, I, I guess I was wanting to do a little overkill. Uh, but I had seen some pictures where, even though a rodent can't get through this mesh, I'd seen some pictures where the, the little claws of a, a rodent will go, uh, pull away at certain things inside, even though they can't get through. And so I am coupling this particular mesh rat bag or cache bag with an OPSAC. Um, it's exclusively by LOPSAC, L-O-K-S-A-K, uh, but most people call it an OPSAC. Um, this particular bag is supposedly leak proof and air proof, and it's also odor proof. So, this is my idea and it's worked on the trip and that is to couple the OPSAC odor proof bag inside the armored gear rat sack. And so I take all my food, put it in the odor proof bag and then put it inside the um, rat sack or cache bag and, and then hang it from a tree. It does have a grommet on one side so you can take a carabiner and use your bear line and attach it to a tree. I will say that what I found is the Velcro is extremely durable. This is not just a very thin Velcro. It's, it's thick, it's, it's over an inch uh, thickness. And when you attach that Velcro, it's not going anywhere. Nothing's getting inside that. Um, anyway, it folds down into a very small, maybe a hand by a hand and a half size, maybe five by seven. And then in my bear bag, because there are corners on these things, I put it in my bear bag inside the op sack, which folds down to half the size. And that's how I put all my food and gear together. Anyway, that is the rat sack by um, armoredoutgear.com. I appreciate you watching the video. I hope that you got something uh, out of this video. If you do, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching another video by As the Crow Flies Hiking.